Went out on a trouble call today for a Lorex security system that I was sure was just going to be the power supply. And it was. It was the power supply for the cameras. But upon further inspection, I found that the hard drive was also shot. And it was just sitting there making a beeping sound and the drive wasn't spinning. I gave it a whack with the screwdriver and I heard the drive spin up. So this drive is FUBAR. Let's replace it. Got a Lorex Vantage home DVR. This one's the model EC02. Turn it on. And this one has a bad hard drive. So I get the, the standard boot up. I'm going to give it a video signal just into one of the inputs for my it'll it'll support standard definition over NTSC but uh, it'll support standard definition on here so we'll, we'll plug something in here to even though we're not going to see anything because the uh, the hard drive is not booting up hard drive lights on constant and there's no no spin up sound of the hard drive and it will pick up my color bars from from my color bar generator but when we try to bring up any diagnostics you'll see what happens so if I try to go into the menu this came from a, a client's place I went out did a service call today and it's beeping because you see the hard drive has failed if we look down here the hard drive light is lit up and it's beeping because the hard drive has failed if we try to look at the hard drive, it'll say that there's no hard drive installed. I already did this at the client's place, so let's see if I can remember how to get into this thing. It was under Oh, now, yeah, now it's going to, of course, now it's going to tell me it's working. Um, it uh, it said no good before. The hard drive was actually not spinning. Now it just spun up. Anyway, I've been giving this thing a tap at the, at the customer's uh, premise. It was not spinning up. Trust me, it was not spinning up. It said hard drive, none. No disk. The hard drive on this one is toast. We're going to swap it out. Uh, because uh, the client obviously wants to be able to uh, rely on it. It actually failed and they had a break in to the car and uh, they went to try to retrieve the information and um, it said no hard drive. So we're going to replace the drive on this one and make it work. So these just use a standard SATA drive, should be able to pop an ordinary drive in. I've got a spare drive here of I think the same capacity as what's in this one now, which is not very big. It's only a 500 gig it looks like, but uh, as you can see these ones are still factory sealed. The paint seal hasn't been broken yet. It is now. I think this is just an SD recorder. It's not an HD, and they're SD cameras that they've got. See, I have the I have the step up one, and mine has the bigger the bigger processor chip with the fan and the heat sink because it and a much bigger hard drive. What has this thing got in it? This is a it's 2012, and this is a uh, 
what is it, 500 gig? And it is, uh, do, 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 what does it say? It doesn't even say on here. Where the heck is this thing? I think it's 500 gig. For some reason, because that's what it said, the value, what it said, it, when it booted up. But when I, when I listened to this before, it was beep, 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 beep. You could just hear the thing beeping. And I went, I took the top off it and I, and I heard the drive start to rattle and, and start to spin up. So um, the drive is shot. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a five, it's a five hundred. Okay, anyway, it just so happens that I happen to have another hard drive that I can install. This is a Seagate. Put the new one in. It's just that easy. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to change the hard drive. I'm going to, uh, like the original one, I'm going to mount it up off of the base so that there's air circulation below it. And obviously I'm going to need to format the, the hard drive. back on it's really not much to doing this and then uh, we'll proceed to format the the drive and make sure that it is uh, is working I keep this old plasma TV here in the workshop is because it has the standard uh, RGB input so that um, I can plug it into things like the security uh, monitors, the security systems, or even a laptop computer, even though the um, there and hear that thing boot up. The other one didn't turn on. It, it started working on its own, but it you did it did not boot up initially. So here's this unit booting up, and of course this drive is going to give me messages, probably telling me it has to be formatted. This is currently formatted for Windows, so there should be a message that pops up here momentarily that uh, tells me that I need to format, or is it going to do it automatically? I think it probably will tell me that I have to format it once it uh, figures things out. There we go. Okay, main menu. System. Yeah, okay, no device, so we're going to format. I tried this. See, I tried this at the uh, at the customer's house and um, it would not format. Oh, got to select that and click format. There we go. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I will be able to get into this. Okay, enter the super secret squirrel password. I had to shut the camera off there because the customer told me what the password is and no, it's not the default one. And we are now formatting the drive. And this will format, it'll take a few minutes. And then this one should be ready to go. And format is now finished. So I can press OK. And now we'll go down here to uh, exit out of this. So we got 468 gigs available, 165 hours of recording and it is now recording. 
and it's going here. Let's get out of this. Where is my where is my exit? Display. So it's recording the color bars now. The hard drive light is flashing away. So we're good to go. I actually had to do two things. The hard drive failed, but they also had a power supply failure for the camera, so I swapped out the power supply. You guys have seen me do that on my own before. But um, anyway, this one's working. As you can see, the light's flashing. It's it's going into the. They've got it set to switch cameras all around on them, so they've got it displaying full screen and then going to multi camera. That's just the way they have it set to display on their TVs. Anyway, the uh, unit is fixed. So, if you got one of these Lorex units and the hard drive fails, and you will know it because, first of all, it will beep. And then the phone will ring. I'm trying to think of what buttons to push on this. Okay. Uh, search. I'll search all the channels it should have. It should show me the... Yeah, there's a, there's my recordings down here, right? It's been running for a bit. It's just, it's just color bars that are that have been recorded so it's uh, play so there it is there's the playback if I disconnect the video going into it right now which I've now taken the camera off as you can see there's playback and it's gonna start beeping because I dropped the video so there it is it's playing back it is recording it says it's playing up at the top so we know that the hard drive is working. That's how you change a hard drive and how to format one on one of these units. To say the uh, self-diagnostics indicated that there was no hard drive present. And, uh, uh, well, this one, I could hear it buzzing. And I say when I initially tapped it, it started the spin. So this one here, the actual platter seized right up on it. Or the head got stuck, which is another thing that can happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. Now to take this back and reinstall it. Catch you in the next one. Bye.